All right, we'll try to sneak in this bush. Ah, oh, they know the strats. They know the Urgot strats. No fear. You think Zyra's gonna be annoying this game? Yeah, Zyra's not too bad. I can W her plants pretty quickly. Or to like kill them pretty quickly. I'd rather get that melee creep. Shaco jungle, that means an early top gank, probably. He's gonna ignite, too. Probably not gonna use my E right here. If I E, it, if I e in and Shaco pops out, we just die. I think I'm gonna go call this game. It's a little bit risky into Camille. I honestly usually don't go for it. But I'm feeling a little bit greedy right now. We'll risk it. Hey, good to see you, Golden. Welcome in, dude. Seen you play against Camille a lot lately. Yeah, I've been running into her a lot. Ever since they buffed her up, more people are starting to play her again. They gave her a passive shield buff, and they buffed up her E a little bit. I think more attack speed whenever she lands it now. The passive shield buff is pretty annoying. It's a really small buff, but everything adds up. Man, that'd be such a good trade, but Shaq is here. He's just gonna help him fix the wave. Wait, what is he doing? Okay, I guess that kind of baited me. Yeah, that actually is pretty good for them. Pretty big wave here, sadly. I thought I could kill him a little bit sooner. Well, at least mid play goes well. Oh, it's actually Zyra mid this game. I thought it was going to be, uh, I thought they were going to swap with the area. Yeah, I've seen Aerie support before. It seems not too bad. But I definitely thought it was going to be Zyra. Oh, that's right. She got double dust, too. She did a really weird E right there. That could have been a pretty bad trade, too. 
I got a pretty big wave to fight in. Dude, that was epic. That was so nice. Look at this. Look at that wave, too, man. I don't know if she has TP. I think she might. Still gonna miss some of that, though. Yeah, she does. That's the moon flip, dude. You flip him to the moon. Yeah, that was a really good time to start walking up, though, because I, I saw I was literally one minion off level six. Why Black Cleaver first? I think it's really good in this matchup. I go Cleaver into Eclipse usually. It feels like you need the DPS and the movement speed from Cleaver. Aw, oh, man, that's unfortunate. Do I live? So close. That was the last tick. Dang, another Shaco gank, man. I should have played that a bit more passively, though. Because we were getting Dragon, and I, I haven't been seeing Shaka. Just kind of a good chance he's topside. Alright, let's see if we can get another buff transfer. We just keep transferring these buffs back and forth in this land. Canceling the recall is really good. I don't know. We might get Shaq out again, though. Should have eat right there, man. We could have got that fling again, maybe. I literally can't walk up right now. I feel like she's hiding in the bush. I don't know, it's hard. She could be recalling. I feel like at this point it probably is a recall. She has Divine right now. I don't want to fight that. Honestly, if I had Ignite, I would maybe take that. I don't know. It'd still be kind of scary into Divine. I probably would take that if my Ignite was up there. This is going to be kind of tough when they're on Divine, and I still don't have my Cleaver. I 
I gotta say, man, this guy plays pretty greedy. Especially for us having a Rek'Sai side jungle. He's been pretty lucky that he hasn't really been top side. He's been really greedy for plates like every time. My W is just locking on. I don't know. I actually got confused there. I got bamboozled. That always happens to me against Shaco. I, th I think when I play against Shaco, I'm going to stop using my W on tower. I think I'm just going to auto attack maybe. Because he always pops out of stealth and I have my W on. So it just locks on. And then it puts the tower on me. I swear that happens every time. And yeah, Camille does outscale here, got at least in 1v1. But uh Ergot's team fight's better. And there is a chance to win the 1v1, but it's really difficult. I think this game I can. Later, Pigeon. Have a good one, man. Yeah, igniting him before the clone would have been good. Because then I could easily tell. This is pretty bad. Camille TP'd. It's a bad time to do golems, but I didn't know she was going to TP at the same time. Wait, she didn't TP. Dude, if I have E, she's dead right there. Okay, nice. We still got him. Again, they're playing so greedy, man. He's not a bad player, but he just greeds. I'm flashing for that shotgun just in case. It's a little too close for comfort. Wow, she does no damage. If I landed that E, I could have just one tapped her. Nice, I'm glad Rex I was there. I probably would have died to Camille. If I sell my coal, we can actually... We can already buy Eclipse. Wow. This is extremely good. I can just right-click that in one go. Alright, looking good, man. A 16-minute Cleaver Eclipse. We should definitely win against Camille right now. You've been rushing straight at Dirk and then Boots before Cleaver feels way better. It's definitely better for your early game, yeah. 
Serrated so Dirk is like the strongest like component that you can buy on Ergot, 100%. But I like having Cleaver completed a little bit more than like Eclipse. Almost on my level 13 spike too, man. Hey, you gonna see a clockwork? Been a while. Hope you've been well. Level 13, two item spike. This would be the time to fight if we're going to. This would be a great time to fight. Shaco, he does nothing. Oh, it's a Borg Shaco. He's doing that tank build. Oh man, I was banking on that ult here. Pretty messy fight, but not terrible. As long as we can get drag. Maybe I should reset before drag. Kind of feel like I should. Mm, Shaq is dead. We can actually just push bottom thinking. Camille's going top here, which is kind of weird. Um, the reason why level 13 is such a big power spike is because your shotguns get a 2.5 second cooldown. So they recharge really quickly. And also by then they just do a lot of damage. We got three levels on Camille. Wait, why is Aerie down here? What the heck? Oh man, I was gonna E flash. Can't believe she stalled out that grinder. If I had flash up a little sooner, we would have would have been good to go there. Glad we decided to flank that rather than just pushing bot. It's a way better play. Alright, let's spend some of this gold, man. Holy moly. Probably gonna just get a full damage this game, I'm thinking. 
I don't think tanking up is very good because they have Bork, Leandre's, Divine. I think Aerie's going to have a... I don't know what she's going to have, actually. Probably Leandre's. Titanic better third over Sterax? I think it is, yeah. Sterax is really defensive, though. I think there is some games where it could be good. I personally like Titanic a little bit more. Oh, yeah, she did get Everfrost. Yeah, I was going to say, it's either going to be Everfrost or Leandre's. If I land Ishii dies right now. I can honestly just fish for an E right now. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. I got a decent chunk of damage off myself before he died there. Skin is so beautiful. Yeah, this skin is sick, man. I love it. Dang, that's a losing fight. Just barely, though. And they don't get any objectives, at least. Not too bad. Yeah, so much true damage. I got double ignited. I think in that situation, it'd be better if my team was playing for Baron. Because right now they need like literally three people to stop my split push when I had like three levels on Camille. Your turret has been destroyed. So in that scenario, it's way better if my team plays for Baron. much damage. Mm, I used my ulti too early. So many Shaco dolls, man. Holy moly. Nice. Good team fight. I missed the E flash, but we still got a ton of damage on that Ezreal. At least it still gets me in range. What chroma is my favorite so far? Um, Either the dark blue or the red one. I would say they're about tied for me. If I had to pick, probably the dark blue one. I am the very of a Dude, I don't know if we do Baron quick enough, do we? Yeah. 
much you can really do about that one. Into the grindy. Whoa. Oh no. Well, that's a massive throw. That is a massive throw. I don't know if it's worth it to build resist this game. I, mm, I don't know. I probably should get like a stun plate last item. Yeah, we'll do stone play it. I honestly don't think there's a very good last item here. I think everything is going to be pretty mediocre. It's hard to build into their team comp. Like, no matter what, we're just going to take so much damage. I feel like maybe actually Grudge could be okay and just try to play for kills. Because I'm kind of having a hard time sticking to people. I'm really hoping we can just play for Sol right now. Guys, why are we talking about a level 3 death? It really doesn't matter at this point in the game, dude. Just focus on getting picks, man. So tanky. It's a good pick, though. We should try to fight. Dude, you're like one HP, Zeri. Holy moly. Good fight, man. We gotta play for those picks. Is Sterex a good item? I think it's an okay item. I would put it... I wouldn't put it top tier, but I'd put it the tier before. But you only want to build it, like, way later in the game, in my opinion. Because that shield skills off your HP, and then the damage also skills off your base AD. So I build it more of like a like a fourth or a fifth item usually. But I wouldn't say it's an every game item. Usually if resists look pretty bad. Or they have ultis like Darius, I think Sterex is really good. Let's try to go for the steel man.
Dude, that was such a satisfying team fight. That was amazing. And we got that Infernal Soul right in time. Oh, dude, we got no wave. Hmm, do we go bot here? If my team rushes Baron, I, I think we just try to pull them bot here, I'm thinking. I don't know, we gotta be pretty careful though. Okay, honestly, that's super good. Hopefully they get Baron. That should be free, man. Hey, welcome in, Kulki. I'm gonna sell my boots for a dead man's probably. Actually, Force of Nature would be kind of good too. I think dead man's though. Their APs really aren't too scary. Sweet. Yeah, if you guys ever go Eclipse or Prowlers, it's always worth it to sell your boots. Because I'm getting 25 base movement speed just off the Mythic passive right now. So we'll still be pretty fast. That's a 50 second timer on the shack, yeah. Change Eclipse for Frostfire? Nah, I don't think that's worth it. Eclipse is really good scaling. I'm getting 20% armor pen just from Eclipse passive. And then also 25 movement speed. That's crazy. 20% armor pen is insane. Especially when they got a tank shack, yo. Camille's pretty tanky. Really want to play for a good 5v5 now. I'm not really getting any stronger. Besides a red elixir. Would be kind of nice if we could wait for my flash. Not quite snipeable. Dude, we gotta force before this Camille splits them, man. This is the thing about Camille. I, I really don't want a 1v1 in the side lane right now. I want to force. Force a team fight. Oh man, their poke damage is nasty. Nice, good force. GG, man. What skin am I using? It's the new uh, Fright Night one. It's really sick, man. I really like it.
Everyone looked like they played pretty well that game. Nice, dude. We got S plus for that game, too. Oh my god, we had 41.3k damage. That's actually more than I thought. Holy smokes, dude. We're actually doing big damage that game. Very nice. Freed by chains. 